Good morning. It's been some time since I last filmed anything on Goldie. It's winter time. I erected an A-frame on top of her roof so that uh, the snow can fall off and the rain doesn't collect on the roof itself until we've been able to properly waterproof the roof. Let me show you inside what we've done so far. This yellow cable is just a uh, extension for the heater inside to make sure that she doesn't freeze over. The temperatures drop to as low as 15 degrees Celsius here. Yeah. You may see that things look a bit different in here. I'll switch this off, it's noisy. Put some lights on. All right. <coughs> Okay, where are we? Let's start in the front. I've covered all the panels that were here with faux leather. I think there's a video of that that I did earlier on. And all the faux leather has been returned to the original place. Instead of that brown that we had. I also made a box here for uh, our headrest, the pillows will, the pillows will rest against here, and it's just a little cubby for us to put our personal belongings and watches and rings and stuff at night. Then I've also included a little switch here that acts as a USB port charger for our cell phones and cameras and whatever drones and stuff. The, the, Debbie's still going to paint some parts of this for us. Uh, all the insides here will be painted black so it doesn't uh, stand out so much. <coughs> We've uh, I've also put in some LED lights. They are up. And Debbie has repainted and redone uh, the corners with our new paint coloration scheme. Uh, and put in an inside, oh, it's a bit bright, put in a, an inside uh, cover for the for the inside of these cabinets. They're going to probably house our clothing. Then she's also redone the cover for the air conditioner and repainted that. I've, I've put in some, taken off these aluminum strips that were here and replaced them with wood strips. You'll see there's one over there as well and I replaced this one as well a lot of the roof has been damaged like you can see here it's it's this is just the wood itself and I I didn't really want to replace all the wood it was just too much of a bloody mission to do so I decided not to do it the curtain rail that was here that gives us privacy in the bedroom uh, these holes have been filled up so Debbie's gonna sand it down and we're going to move the, the wall a bit this way so it's flush against the cabinet over there. Just to make sure that we have maximum space. Uh, done some electrical stuff here just to neaten up the wires that's inside there. And same on this side. There's a little plastic thing here. Put in some uh, corner uh, quarter rounds just to finish it off to make it look prettier made some brackets here because the old brackets are all broken so I've made some steel brackets here to keep the window in place <clears throat> Debbie has done a great job of painting this whole thing uh, these things I think have got their second coat on <clears throat> you'll see there's a lot of this is all, all the old wood and there's a lot of marks and dents and chips on it and you know what it is what it is. She's an old girl and she's going to have a bit of battle scars and we're going to keep it like that. We're not going to replace absolutely everything. We like to keep some of it to remind us that she is an older lady. <clears throat> this spot, I'll keep this as a surprise. There's going to be something special that's going to go here. I've put some quarter rounds into this area over here. The These things, any, any paintwork in this RV has been done by Debbie not me okay so this is all her redone all the paintwork here she's replaced that 
cover for the the light that's over here replace that LED light as well the countertop kits coming next week so she's gonna start doing the countertop for that that's gonna be a big job for her you'll see that the outlets for the <coughs> the outlet here has been done as well for the heat I have to replace that plug there still a lot of painting has happened here and painting and more painting so this is pretty much where we are at at the moment I still have to redo the these two panels um, put all the windows in try to fix them up a bit I'm probably going to be able to put the overhead uh, or fan whatever that overhead thing in today we still have to do a lot of work here nothing pretty much has been done here but to clear everything out also got to replace the toilet or take out the toilet at least so Debbie can paint at the back there uh, the painting or well, the paint for this job is hopefully coming in the next 10 days or so um, I've got the new one that's going to go in here for the liquid levels so this has got to come out the new one's got to go in today's big job <coughs> or this weekend's big job actually is going to be replacing or making a new couch for this area that's going to go over the fresh water tank once i've done the couch the carpet's coming next week we've got to redo this carpet next week put the carpet in and once i've done the carpet or once we've done the carpet i can then put in this panel that goes over here and put in the panel that goes over here and against the sides and I've already put in this panel including the new LED light that sits here and the LED light that's there has been replaced and the speakers were put in and on this side because there's a double bench here I put in a double light so that the people that sit here can read or you know have ample light for whatever they're doing this is then where Goldie is at the moment um, a lot of work still I've replaced the front clearance lights on the outside and look, I'm not going to show you now it's, it's a bit of a mission to lift this uh, sail up I've also replaced the outside light here with the LED light and I'm going to also replace this step I nearly killed myself last weekend on this step it doesn't come out far enough so you you either step on it or just off it and I'm going to get a new step I may have to weld new brackets for this to make it fit properly but that's next weekend's hassles 